The Association of Professional Women in Engineering of Nigeria, APOEN, a division of Nigeria Society Engineers, NSE, says it is facilitating scholarship for 500 students to study engineering courses in territory institutions. The president of APOEM disclosed this at a news conference organized by the association in Abuja. Scholarships, you know, that were awarded for, for primary schools, because the idea, the intention is to encourage them to study engineering. So those scholarships are from primary to university to study engineering. Of course, what that means is that if they don't study engineering, they don't enjoy the scholarships at the university level. So some of them now are in JS2. 81 of those girls are being sponsored by the Nigerian National Petroleum Company. 90 of those girls are being sponsored by the governor of um, Borno State, His Excellency Engineer uh, Baba Gana Umar Azulu, MNI. And another 300 are being sponsored by the uh, Honorable Member of the House of Rep, representing Ngala, Bama, and Kalabagi constituency. Another 10 is being sponsored by the Nigerian Security Prince in Aminti. The conference tagged Women in Engineering, Driving Digital Transformation, was organized to introduce a four-day event in which opportunities would be provided for learning and networking. She said the purpose was to ensure that girls were encouraged to take up courses in engineering, that girls must be creative. So our creativity combined with the policy, policies in place is what can make this um, profession attractive. And our vision is to be a catalyst for the advancement of women in the engineering profession towards national and global technological development. We do this in a number of ways. And one of those ways in which we do it is by organizing conferences like this one, which is starting today, the 20th of September, and is going to last till 23rd September, 2021. Deputy President of Nigeria Society of Engineers urged the association to improve its programs. You know, in engineering, there's always room for improvement. 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 So we have to think and improve on all your programs. And we found out that the professional divisions have not been active, have not been doing what a professional body is. So many gaps, especially in human capital development of our members. So what we intend to do now is we are going to engage the divisions properly to be able to the lady from oil and gas, the civil engineers, apologies to mechanical electrical. These are the people I know more. Closer, I work closely with them. The civil engineers do, don't have problem in standards, in the application of standards. The four-day conference started with a health work and would feature exhibitions, panel sessions, technical sessions, and young engineer programs.